You may have heard that taking paracetamol in pregnancy may be unsafe for your baby. So, should you be worried? How safe is paracetamol in pregnancy? Make sure you watch this video to the end as I share conclusive findings from a new study about the effects of paracetamol on children when taken by their moms during pregnancy. Hello health conscious friends, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you findings from a recent study about the safety of paracetamol taken during pregnancy and afterwards on children. We know we should be careful with taking any medicines during pregnancy because of the potential effects on the developing baby. And for so long, we thought that paracetamol, which you might also know as Tylenol, Panadol or Acetaminophen, to be the safest medicine for use for treating pain or fever for pregnant women and children. However, some previous studies have suggested a connection between taking paracetamol in pregnancy or very early in childhood and some conditions that are linked to challenging behavior or thinking problems such as ADHD and autism. These studies have never been conclusive, so there's really not been any certainty about a link between paracetamol and these conditions. Now, a new study may give us a better idea. Some scientists carried out a meta-analysis recently that was published in the scientific journals in May 2021. A meta-analysis is simply what happens when you combine a group of other different studies to see what they have in common. This particular meta-analysis gathered together six different studies based in Europe looking at pregnant women and their use of paracetamol during pregnancy and followed them up after they had delivered as well as the use of paracetamol within the first 18 months of their baby's lives. But before we look at the findings of the study, what are the advantages in particular? Why should we pay attention to this study? Well, first, having a large study where you're looking at big numbers of people. In this particular case, there were over 70,000 mother-baby couples studied. And secondly, they used the same type of statistical methods to analyze the different studies. Sometimes the problem with individual studies is that they use different analysis methods so when it's time to compare them like for like it's a bit challenging. Next, they paid attention to the possible influences of other factors that could be responsible for autism. For example, the mother's age at delivery, her weight before pregnancy, smoking around pregnancy or during pregnancy, a mother's mental health during pregnancy and her use of alcohol, as well as any fever and infections that might develop during pregnancy. They also performed sensitivity tests, for example, leaving out one study to determine its influence on their overall result. Given the size and given the type of analysis they performed, this looks like a potentially reliable study. The next thing to look at quickly is paracetamol. How does it work? Primarily, paracetamol works in the brain by preventing the activity of a type of hormone known as prostaglandin. Now, our bodies make prostaglandin in response to stressful situations and it's also been noted to be involved in things like painful menstruation, arthritis, heavy menstrual bleeding and some types of cancer. But scientists also think that paracetamol can have an adverse effect on the developing brain which suggests its involvement in development of conditions like autism or ADHD. So, what were the findings of this latest study? First, children exposed to paracetamol in the womb were 19% more likely to have autism than those who are not and 21% more likely to have ADHD than those who are not. And secondly, for children who were given paracetamol from birth up to the age of 18 months, there was no link between the use of paracetamol and developing autism or ADHD. So what does this mean for pregnant women and paracetamol? 
Previous studies have shown stronger relationships between paracetamol use in pregnancy and developing these conditions like autism and ADHD when paracetamol is used in more than one trimester during pregnancy, when it's used a lot more frequently or persistently, and when it's used in pregnancy for more than a five month period. Therefore, this study gives us more robust evidence that taking paracetamol persistently, frequently, or for prolonged periods during the pregnancy is associated with an increased risk between 19 to 21% of developing autism or ADHD, respectively, by the children. Can you take paracetamol when you're pregnant for fever or dealing with pain conditions? Yes. This study should not frighten a woman who is pregnant from using paracetamol if she absolutely needs to use it during pregnancy. Remember the key connections are very frequent use of paracetamol, persistent and prolonged use of paracetamol. The recommendation therefore is to take the paracetamol only when it's absolutely necessary and for the shortest possible period of time. So let me know what you think of this study, if it brings up any questions or concerns in your mind about drugs like paracetamol and how safe they are in your pregnancy, share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to do the usual, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you know every time we get new videos published on the channel. Next time we'll be looking at the common signs of illness that you must never ignore. So please make sure you click that bell if you want to be notified when that video goes live. While you're waiting for that to happen, check out these two here and I'll see you again soon. Stay well.